Hello, and welcome to another Minecraft to go tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a skin editor. So, I'm going to show you what a skin, ed skin editor looks like first, so, in case you're at the wrong video. So, this is basically what it is. You draw stuff, da 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 da. And it appears on here, and you can uh, save and all that stuff. So, I'm not gonna save this since I don't need it. All right. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna go to the first link in the in the description. Copy that. I'm gonna show you that I'm going to the same link. Uh, there it is. And then open up your inner browser, internet browser, and paste that in. And it's going to bring you to a page like this. So, what you want to do is download the latest one or a stable one. Sometimes, not all of these will work for you depending on uh, if you have a Linux, a Mac, uh, Windows. So, <clears throat> the only ones that really seem to work for me are these two. I'm on Mac OS X with the PowerPC and this one. The rest, like, I get some errors. So, you're going to download this one. And download file, and now it's gonna download download uh, the zip. So minimize this because you might need this later. Uh, we can close out text edit here, and here it is right here. So the first thing you want to do is open it up, and you'll notice a couple parts. Now to launch it, you'll need to uh, double click MC Skin Edit dot jar click open and I'm not sure if you'll get th the same message but uh, yeah and it'll give you <coughs> all these I'm running in com uh, compatibility mode so uh, all features may not work and I'm skin at it right. now click OK here but we might need to go back to there okay so this time it actually worked for me because usually you'll get like a preview broken over here um, so yeah I'll show you how to fix that if you do get it Put that out of there and so if you do get that just delete your skin test 2 dot jar that's what came up uh, once we uh, once we uh, uh, started running that so it's empty my trash and then you're going to go back to that website scroll down just a little bit and you're going to put in one of these codes right here. So take copy that. Show you that I'm copying. Oops. And then you're gonna go back to uh, Finder, and you're gonna click that again. And so I might wanna. That'll be fine. And then you'll paste that in if it didn't work. And see, it still works. And if that one doesn't work, try this one. It uh, should end up being the same thing. And um, I'll give you a little overview. So here is your fill, fills everything. And okay, here's your drawing, just like standard drawing. And this is all in 8 bit. And here's your multi tool. Um, this is like your secondary, I believe, or I don't know. I don't really use that much. Here's your dropper. So if you want to find uh, here, let me post a couple different colors. Say I'm on pink, but I want blue, and I can't find it back here. Click this, and you have blue. Oh your drawing one first so there you go here is a one of my favorite it's a line do diagonal straight or that's not straight but stuff like that it makes it look pretty cool but not really and then um so just let me fill this entire thing with blue 
Um, and this is your hat, by the way, which was like a layer over. So if I go to settings, use old behavior, you'll notice he has a really big head. So I probably want to erase the hat later on. So I'll show you that. Uh, see, it's like it goes over. And so now we're at the dodge and burn, which is a very useful tool. It makes everything lighter. It might be hard to see because of this color, so let me fill this in. And see, it's different colors, or else uh, that would have been um, like <coughs> ah, the same color. So now you can kind of see it more. It's like a little more advanced eraser. And finally, you have your eraser. So, and take that off and you have this back and now up here you have the oh I do need that filled in so then we'll get some d little different colors so you can see the difference for this part alright there so once you have this you want to and this makes it look like it's not all one color. You can just do add noise, select the force, to make it less or more, and boom. You kind of have that creeper kind of look. Um, so yeah, down here you got your alternative color. I think it's when you right click. Yep, it is when you right click. HSB, it's like a little more advanced color picker. So you can do like a little fade effect. Right around here but if you're a good light like someone else that would have been looked a lot better or look would have looked a lot better yeah. and here you have like a little like if you found a color on off the internet you can just enter it right here and or not oh I gotta go to the main color oh. there it is Uh, yeah, so there you have it. And up here, you have some tool settings. So you got your size, and I. <laughs> it's pretty weird. So I'm gonna make this back to one. And up here, um, you have this part picker, which as you add a lot of stuff, you can add. I want a camo belt, that'd be pretty cool. 1700 jacket. Uh, an eye patch because he needs one, obviously. Oh, he no, he definitely needs a McDonald's hat. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm back. I had to <coughs> my dad was talking to me. Ah, uh, am I even recording? Oh, I don't know. So I'll just keep going for a little bit. Ah, uh, so there you have it. And now, uh, to save it, you just go to do, you go up here, click save, or save as, doesn't really matter. And close out this, no, but even though that guy looks amazingly cool, and close out this. And now, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, my next video, I'll show you how to edit even more with using different programs. Uh, uh, subscribe.